Hi, Deacon Ed here, once again, for Be Catholic. Tonight we're continuing to talk about several of the symbols and uh, things that you will see around inside the church, uh, especially during Mass, uh, that oftentimes generate questions amongst Catholics and certainly amongst those uh, who either want to become Catholic or haven't been uh, to church for a while. And so two of the symbols that I wanted to bring up today are two common symbols that you will see on banners or that you will see uh, on vestments, like what Father wears and what the deacon wears uh, when they serve at Mass. And the two symbols we're going to talk about today are these two right here. The first one, uh, I-H-S. I wonder if you know what that means, if you were to take a guess. I know we have lots of people that uh, fill in in English, like in his service or something like that uh, for the IHS. But actually what it is, is a derivation from the Greek of Jesus' name. So this actually would be the first three letters in Greek for the name Jesus but it's been transposed into the Latin letters. So uh, it, it means Jesus or, and as we talked about before, uh, when we were talking about the uh, script that was written above Jesus on the cross, you see there's the I for the J sound. Um, and of course the word Jesus means God saves. So it, it is a very apt, um, description of our Lord and Savior. And you will see that oftentimes you'll see it on a priest's vestment or you'll see it on banners. So now you know that it is about Jesus. The next one here uh, kind of looks like uh, the cross of uh, St. Andrew and the letter P. And I've had people come to me and tell me that it stands for Peter or it stands for the keys that Peter was given uh, at um, when he said, you are the Lord, right, in Matthew's gospel. But that is not what it means. What it means is, once again, this is the first two letters in Greek of the word Christos, or Christ. So the X gives you the K sound. It's called either the key row or the chi row, depending on how you pronounce your, uh, your Greek alphabet, uh, but the X is the first letter and P is the second letter written in Greek for Christos, Christ. The word Christ, what does that mean? Well, translated from the Aramaic word that we all know of, which is Messiah. So Christos, Christ means Messiah. So the next time that you go to Mass and you look around and you see these symbols or these letters, now you will know that what we are talking about here is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Deacon Ed with Be Catholic. Hope you enjoy. God bless. Amen.